seeking some revenge or they just don't like them. But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff position? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Oh, what a move. And he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage with a penalty flag down. This might push him back further. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. That's going to set him back five yards. Sooner or later, we should get a snap, I think. This is now first and 25 after another penalty. to throw. Jones. He'll buy some time right. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. He'll get 11 yards back on the scramble as it brings up second down. Man, defensively that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Second and 14. 60 bison, 60 bison. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Now Jones to throw on second down. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes on that play, stepping out from the middle of the field and really making a big hit. Did not get free, but boy, that's a tough area to go into when you're going into his spot. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Here's a give to Barkley. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Facing this big first-half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And finding the tight end Rudolph. 
And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, Jones, his throw incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration, the body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll take this one down to the 36. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's Jones on third down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. The 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And they'll start at the 25 as McKinnon decides again. It's returning it. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance in this one. Mahomes going to throw it here. And going deep for Hill. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. What were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Kansas City, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll get another home date next week as the Packers will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Giants, changes could be in the air as they fall to 0-8 now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.